Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn to use the shell tool a little bit differently. And I recently posted this video and I had to delete it right when I watched it after I posted it because I forgot to explain one important thing. So typically when you shell an object, right? You have your interior shell, your exterior shell, and then you can also hollow out an object by selecting all of the faces. So for example, we select all of these faces and then we can go ahead and choose a number and you can see it's transparent just ever so slightly that we can see. And if we change it up, we can see it's hollow on the inside. So, but the reason for this video is not for these kind of situations. I'm gonna show you another example right now where the file is just way too complex for the shell tool to actually even recognize or be able to do anything. Now, I'm not sure exactly why this is, but it doesn't allow it to. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the loading screens and show you just a couple of reasons why it wouldn't work. So. The first reason would be self intersection. As you can see, it says up top. And then the second reason would be because it says the body would be invalid. So how do we fix it? Sometimes we need an exact shell of an object that we already have. And how do we do that? I'm going to show you. So what we do basically is typically when we don't use this method, we sketch, you know, the exterior of an object and we might revolve that around just to get some kind of like, you know, exterior shape but there is an easier way. So let, let me go ahead and show that to you so that you can use this for your projects. All right, so what we do is we select, in this case, the top part, and we draw a, a shape, any shape. It could be a square, a circle, in this case, just the circle is easier. Make sure you select the face as well so it doesn't just go around it. And then also you have to delete the object from the big object. Uh, in this case, it's hard to reach, so what we can do is go ahead and select it inside the folder instead of the object uh, just to make that easier so we don't have to go and select one of those inner lines uh, although alternatively we can zoom in and do that but anyways now we that we have that subtracted we go ahead and hide it just so that we can see what we're doing and we select the edges around that we want to shell and this is a super easy process we go ahead and shell it and we have our exterior exact shell so Again, very easy. I'm going to change the color just so you can see the difference. Let's go ahead and show you the old object uh, inside. And as you can see, it's an exact shell of the object we had. And it's a piece of cake to use. And what this is, is basically uh, I'm designing a cup holder and this is in the process of that. And while I'm doing this, I also decided to make the video so that you guys can learn how to do it for your projects. Uh, again, piece of cake, really great, useful tool. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next Congratulations on making it this far. You guys are going to do great. Here at J Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more. See you again soon.